hello everybody welcome to this channel once again if you are new here you're welcome to this channel make sure you hit on the subscribe button to subscribe for more tutorials if you are old here thanks so much for checking out this video so we are still on the basic tools we use in Adobe Photoshop and the last time we talked about the eyedropper tool straight down to the history brush tool today we will continue from the eraser tool and we'll talk to the dodge tool all right so let's go ahead and open the image we're going to use for today all right so i have a picture of my friend over here and then i'm going to talk about the eraser tool we have the three types of the eraser tool we have the main eraser tool the background eraser tool and then the magic eraser tool all right so when you take the eraser tool erasing simply means that you're getting rid of some part of a layer that you don't want so if I pick my eraser tool and then I will just left click and drag any part of the layer and it will clean up for me. That is what the eraser tool basically does. But you can right click for more options. You can change the size and the hardness. For example, the hardness is the 100% right now. So if I erase, it will give me a very hard feedback, something like this. But if I change the hardness to about 0%, you see that it will give me some sort of soft erasing thing like yeah so when you are making posters and other stuff you can make use of this to blend with the background that you're going to use so that is what the first eraser tool does so the next one is the background eraser tool the background eraser tool works just the same as the main eraser tool but this time around erase the background only so you can see when I left click here, it is erasing the background only for me. But sometimes you have to take very good caution because you can erase to the parts that you don't want. So you have to take your time to sometimes you have to make the tolerance and then the hardness and stuff. You have to adjust it before you can get the exact thing that you want. Let me make an example. So you see it has gone into the parts that I, I don't want it to get erased so you just go back and then you can change the tolerance and other stuff to suit your work very nicely so that's what the background eraser tool also does now the last thing for the eraser tool we have the magic eraser tool it works just like the magic one tool where you select and then you left click on any part of it, just like this and then the background is gone so if you have a plain one color background as you say one color background you just have to take the magic one tool just left click on it and then the background is gone that is how the erasers tools work all right so i'm talking about the gradient tool over here the gradient tool simply means that you can make you can change gradients from this side you can apply gradients on a particular layer let's take for instance that i make a new layer right now and then I select the gradient tool. I will just click here and then drag down and it will create a gradient for me. So this gradient is different from this layer that we're working on. So if I decrease the opacity, you can see that I still have my layer at the bottom of the gradient layer. You see that it? So you can make different gradients on different layers. As time goes on, we'll be using them in the works and it is very nice to use all right so the paint bucket tool also works like the gradient tool the foreground color here right now is black let me change it to something like this color over here and then i'll click ok let me make a new layer and then i pick my paint bucket tool just like this and with just a click a left click on the layer it will fill the whole layer with the paint that or the color that i chose from here pretty simple right so you can also decrease the opacity and you have you have some something very nice over here. so you can use it on your works on your pictures and other stuff it is very nice all right so let me delete and then i won't talk about this 3d material drop too because um, it is quite advanced and it is not good for beginners all right so let's continue to the blur tool blurring simply means that you are smoothing or doing something like that so I have my picture right over here and then I will just take the blur tool and then you see 
if you take a very close look or a closer look you can see that it is giving me some nice smooth face unlike the other pic the other picture that i have so you can blur you can use it to blur backgrounds also so you can check the difference if i undo yeah you can see the difference like that so that is how the blurring tool also works now the sharpening tool is the opposite of the blurring tool so the blurring tool smoothing the face for you the sharpening tool will add some sort of noisy thing to your picture so you, you see it is adding some noisy thing to my picture and uh, the sharpening tool it, it can be used in when you are doing the smudge painting and other stuff you will get there so you take your time but basically it adds noise to a picture that is what the sharpening tool does now the smudge tool we will use it in the smudge painting and other stuff it, it creates some sort of it's like the blur too so it creates some sort of blurness over your face so you see how it works so you can use it to work on your eyebrow and your hair just like this one so that is how the smudge tool also work but before you can make great use of the smudge tool i will recommend that you do your search on smudge painting and smudge tools and smudge um, brushes so you, you can download them and then you can make good use of them all right so the last thing i will talk about for the day is the dodge tool the burn tool and then the sponge tool so i have the picture here but you can see the picture some parts are quite bright in whereas the other parts are dark so the smart oh sorry the dodge tool will brighten the darkened areas for you so you can see you can use it to brighten your images like that so it, it is as simple as that just select it and left click the area that you want to so it will brighten the face for you just like this right so that is how the um, dodge tool also works sorry now the burn tool is the opposite of the dodge tool so instead of brightening it will add some sort of um, darkness to your image so i'm darkening the image right now that is how the burn tool also works so it is the opposite of the dodge tool all right so the last thing that we will talk about for the day is the sponge tool and it's just likely like the burn tool so it also has some sort of darkness to your image for you if you want to add some sort of darkness to your image it will just add it for you so basically that is what we will be covering for today in the next tutorial i'll be doing a full tutorial on the pen tool and, and then the test tool i will do also a full tutorial on that so i hope you would not like to miss that opportunity um, we will talk more about the pen tool where you can make a simple shape like this and then you are good to go the pen tool is just fun to work with so in the next tutorial i'll talk about the pen tool and then in the subsequent videos i'll talk about the test tool and then we'll talk about the shapes and then we will be done with the basic tools in photoshop then we will get to the real photoshop works that we will be doing so thanks so much for checking out this video thanks so much for watching leave your likes comments subscriptions shares and other things if you have questions post them in the comment section below and i'll answer all of the questions don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like my facebook page thanks so much for watching i'll catch you in the next video bye